I feel broken on the inside. Oh, that I get right back to where I'm going. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Pimp. You in there? Yeah. I'm here, nigga. Nah, nah, nah. How the hell are you in here? I'm in this bitch. Hold on, nigga. What's up? I ain't the problem. Nigga, it's good. You said, what happened? It's a full screen, nigga, and it's just me. I know, nigga. I can't see where it's usual, nigga. I know what's going on. Just be I just rock with me real quick. I'm trying to find some shit. I'm trying to find something that's just fun for me. A little song I want to play real quick, man. I'm five shit, my motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, babe, what a what the double A battery is that? Triple A's, I mean. Okay. Shit, man, this shit crazy. Damn, batteries just died on a nigga and shit, man. Shit crazy, bro. Shit. I'm trying to replace some shit. I just had to replace the batteries in the thermostat, nigga. <laughs> I mean, the thermostat way different from the motherfucking remote control. I'm just saying, it's a remote control. <laughs> that thermostat, you need that shit, nigga. It's a remote control, nigga. I mean, it's needed, but it ain't. Even, I just can't. Turn my phone to a motherfucking controller because, you know, we in the post, man. <laughs> That's the only reason why. Because if not, I'd have, I'd have turned this bitch to a controller. I'd have been cool. I'd have had to been doing all this shit. So I'm trying to play some shit. So I ain't going to fake it to you. It's this chick named um, Thunder G. I guess Big Purr. Pur- I, I can't say that shit. I, I don't do females say that shit. But this song, song she got, <coughs> the motherfucking sample on the bitch, so hard. I just gotta play this shit real quick before we get going. I gotta play it. Like, I gotta play. I'm trying to get prepared. I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to get the planes ready for boo when she get off and shit. I'm trying to get prepared because I know we might be here for a little a second. You feel me? So I'm just over here trying to get prepared and shit in the post podcast. Um, today is on a Friday, but you know, every Saturday, matter of fact, nigga, you already know what the fuck I'm doing. Hold up, nigga. Hold up. You know what I'm saying? Every day is like a parade, nigga. What are they talking about? Hold up. I'm getting, I don't think I'm close to this shit. Hold up. I'm trying to share this shit. It too I'm trying to find this shit at the same time. Multitasking, you know how this shit go. Y'all tap in, y'all tap in, y'all know what the fuck it is. Like Today is a Friday. You feel me? I ain't really been posting, I ain't really been sharing the motherfucking shows like I normally do lately. Lately, I've been just seeing who fuck with it. I've been trying to do the test. So now I know how to handle niggas. All right, fuck it. We about to, we about to get it. We about to get it going and see what's going on. No, 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 not that one. You know what I did? You hear it? Yeah, I hear it.
Playing, pimp. Man, you know what I'm saying? That thunder, that thunder G, man. Big Perk. That that she. That is a song called "Shake My Ass," though. I guess that's what the name of the song called. But I just, I, I like the beat, man. The beat got that New York drill to it, and that, and the hook on here is just, it's just. You know what I'm saying? Just riding that motherfucker though. Pause. You feel me, like? Mmm, parade, nigga. Hey, this is horrible. Hey, man, I heard this shit on the, on, on the page, like, like maybe like a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. Like, Shorty been following the page and shit. Like, she been following the page. But I heard this shit probably, like, I want to say maybe a few days ago, just on some, on some scroll shit. And I'm like, man, this shit kind of hard. Like, I got to give respect where respect this dude. You feel me? Like, if it's a, if it's a, if it's a shit is a bop. If I'm a bop to it, I gotta show love to it in the post, man. We ain't we ain't on that, man. You know what I mean? Like if I bop to that shit, I'ma have to respect that shit straight up. But I ain't gonna lie though. In a minute, we gonna have to cut this short because no disrespect to shorty, but you feel me? Yeah. Who the who the fuck? I what the fuck? I look like playing this show on the dolo? Like what? Rolling up weed playing this though? Like come on, man. Man, real talk, man. If I wasn't doing no podcast and shit, a motherfucker think I'm, I'm trying to, you feel me? Shoot that shorty. I don't even give a fuck about shorty. I just think the song good. No disrespect. You feel me? Like this on some G's, but you already know how this shit be going, bro. Yeah. Just clear the shit. Messy than a motherfucker. You feel me? You got to be real careful how you move. Yeah, because it's like, all right, I, I, I post a chick on my page and I was like, oh. He lusting at the shorty. Wow, wow, wow. Or he wanna wow, wow, wow. Like, bro, shut the fuck up, goofy ass internet nigga. Fuck out of here, you internet nigga. The niggas who be started all that should be internet niggas. Nigga, you, you just that nigga on the internet, nigga. When you go outside, niggas be pucking your little goofy ass. Boy, you ain't, you ain't about shit. But when you tell them that's what you to do, the dudes that's doing that, they be trying to, no, nah, no, nah, you, 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 you just mad. Dude, stop trying to get at her because you want to clap. If she good. I don't know. Saying niggas talk about niggas mad, but it's like, bro, how the fuck you gonna tell me I'm mad at you, nigga? I don't know you, nigga. Fuck is wrong? <laughs> I mean, like niggas, like niggas be killing me. Like my nigga, I don't know you. How I be mad at you, nigga? I don't know who you are, nigga. Like fuck is you talk? Like fuck is you talking about, nigga? I don't know you, nigga. Michelle Dior said Thunder G seven. I think her. I think her tag on Instagram is Thunder G seven two zero. You got the tag shorty in this vid though. I ain't gonna fake because because I, I kind of ran across that song. I feel like it's cool. And you know we like to normally tag niggas music that we play at the beginning of the show. So you got the tag shorty in this shit. If you don't tag her, I'm gonna end up tagging her myself. Like just on the G's. Like it ain't about nothing but respect. That's all it's about. Like I ain't. I don't give a fuck about you niggas, no disrespect. But at the end of the day, it's like, we got to respect niggas. Like, we we don't mean different. It's a different type of time niggas on. You feel me? I just got to reiterate that in, over and over and over. You feel me? Because I don't know. You, you, if, you ever, if you ever look at, if you ever end up looking at Shorty Instagram page after this live, you don't know why I'm saying this. I'm here. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't got time for these. I don't got, got time for these fake ass hip hop police in the city. Suck my dick, pause. You feel me? I don't got time for y'all. All right, man. You already know this. Hey, it is Saturday, but we get this bitch, man. Snowy as fuck. Nigga was outside in that snow all goddamn day, nigga. You feel me? And I gotta be in that bitch again tomorrow, nigga. Yeah. 
Shit, nigga, since we've been closed in, I've been trying to move shit around. It's too much shit. <laughs> nigga, guess what yeah. I was, I had a Devin to do moment. What's going on? Got some shoe boxes up under the dresser, you know what I'm saying? Uh my my uh custom shoes, they in the box under the dresser. Some told me to go down there and move, clean up under there while I was cleaning up too. It wasn't nothing under there. But I saw something at the back, I couldn't quite reach it, so I uh got a piece of plastic and hit something and I'm like, what is that? Nigga, I found a I found a big ass bud of weed. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's what we have, nigga. Winter vibes, nigga. I just, found, I just found a bag of weed. Yeah, that nigga was happy. That nigga rolled that shit up with the quickness. That nigga, what the shit was that? <laughs> <laughs> what the shit was that? Shit, what the shit? <laughs> nigga, sorry. <laughs> Uh, all right, Pep, you already know what it is, man. Shit, I ain't about to talk about my week because fuck this week. It's been cold, it's been snowing, it's been all fuck this week. All I'm gonna say to y'all niggas is this hey, man, if you in Cleveland and you don't got no, and you don't got no four, four wheel drive, stay your ass. You smoke it, you smoke it, you smoke a dick. Pause, you, you tweaking, you tweaking, you tweaking, bro. Like, straight up, if you don't got no four wheel drive with your shit. Why the fuck you outside, folks? It's over five inches of snow. Why the fuck you outside? And furthermore, this is what I will say, too, also. For you niggas who work for these school districts and shit, right? I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to give y'all a little, a little, little million dollars worth of game. No gilly, right? This is Cleveland, Ohio. If niggas predict that it's going to be five to six inches of snow sometime between 8 o'clock and 3, 4 o'clock when them kids get out of school, Guess who ain't going to school? Some kids. It's different from us, man. We was the guinea pigs, man. Nigga, we was like, out niggas was, Like, niggas was out there. Niggas coming back two days later, sick as fuck. Missing a week of school, all type of shit. We was the guinea pigs of that shit. It's I over remember, with now, man. They got too much technology, man. I remember back in the day that I used to end up going to tech. School wouldn't be out. It'd be out for us because the pipes busted. Cause it was an old building, you called the pipes bus. With well, the pipe bus, we can't go to school. But you know when we find that out, we all get there. When we got there, yeah. I mean, we didn't. I know this motherfucker. Technology <laughs> different. Man. It is what it is. Technology different. Technology different, man. Don't blame. I used to don't blame the school board. Blame blame motherfucker America Online. And then my cousins and them with Shaker and all the outside schools, them niggas was like, look, we used to watch the news just to, if Cleveland ain't going to school, we not going. All right. Well, let's get into it then. Let's get into it, Pimp. All right. Divisional round weekend NFL. Hold on, hold on. Before we start it, I would like to thank you, my G. What up? For, 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 for putting some respect on my name. Like, you, you, you made the bid as it was happening. I think my nigga might be right. I th- oh. I mean, them niggas was up 27 zip, nigga. <laughs> I didn't want you to know. <laughs> the Cowboys was down 27 zip. What the fuck else you think I was to say? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh, oh, Pimp still tripping, man. I'm holding off hope that they can come back with a 27 zip lead. Like, them niggas garbage. That niggas was down 27 zip when I made that bid. They were down 27 zip when I made that bid, Pimp. 27 zip. That's why I was just sitting here looking. I'm in the maze. I'm just like, they really about to smack these niggas like this, bro? Like, this really happening, bro? Like, this is crazy. Like, that's the only reason why I made the video because it was so egregious. Like, what the fuck am I watching? Like, this shit is egregious. It didn't make it so bad. Lightweight. I was about to make a bid, and I was like, boop, it's a like. I was like, what they like? <laughs> I'm this nigga that made, watching this shit in real time, nigga. I'm watching this shit in real time, and I'm just like, I didn't, well, I didn't cut the shit off from the beginning, nigga. It's like 20 minutes to pass, and I'm just like, these niggas really about to these niggas really about to do this shit. Like again? Like this is what they about to do? Like this is crazy. <laughs> like this is crazy. After the Browns lost, nigga, I was on everybody's ass. I ain't gonna hold you. Like I didn't really give a fuck. I was on everybody's ass. Damn a lot, bro. Ooh shit. 
What? This shit is crazy. Come on, she gotta stay. She gotta tap in. How good niggas tapped in? Shout out to my live brothers, man. Shout out to Mob World Radio. You feel me? That's crazy if you tap, tap into this shit, though. That's wrong. Even if a motherfucker tap in for like two seconds because we're talking this sports shit, though. You feel me? Just because just a nigga tap in, it's like, damn, oh, they fucking with me. Why would you even tap in if you ain't fucking with me? You feel me? Like, it ain't like we, we, we see one of them feeds that you just gonna hear some old crazy retarded, how I hate somebody or how I stuttered on somebody's stories. That's not what we do on here. I mean, shit, nigga, we get mad. But all right, man. Oh, sorry, man. Only thing, yeah, only, only, only other thing I'm about to say before we get into these games is the only thing I want to say. I was watching it. It is what it is today. You need, need to watch Camera re reenacted what Mike McCarthy should have said in a press conference. That shit was inspiring. That shit made me want to run through a wall for a nigga. Maybe Cameron need to be the coach of the damn Cowboys so they can finally win some shit. Cocaine Cowboys. Since you were watching, um, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I happen to clip in the one of the um, Ugly Money uh, things. You know how he be on there talking just his free time, talking about where he going to be next. Told him, he yeah. said, he's Stop it and tap in. He said, in the post, but I get there, I'm going to holler at y'all. <laughs> so. Fuck with us, I guess. Shit. It is what it is. It I is. don't know. I, I don't even. I see, I see, I see the uh, the page you talk about, but I don't really know what's, what's to it. So I ain't yeah, about that, to see that's, it. His, oh, shit. that's his page. It's not, it's one of the, just a personal page, not one of them uh, where he interviewed folks. That's where, like, he, you know, promoting he on tour, where he going, uh, where he showing yeah, up. We'll just have to, we'll just have to see what's to that, man. So I don't, I don't really, we'll have to see what's to that. But all right, man. Which one start with Saturday's games, or you want to just, or you just want to just start throwing games out here? It's only a few. It's only four of them. Shit. <laughs> it's only four games. Rashi, what's good, my nigga? Tag. I do my own stunts, nigga. It's only four games, so shit. We, we, we all. We're going to start with the first one. That's the Texas and the Raiders. I mean, Ravens. Texas and the Ravens? Mm hmm. All right, man. A week this set up. A week this set up. You're going to hear me say this about two games this week. That's the set up. So, with that being said, I don't really give a fuck if the Ravens is off for three weeks. I don't give a fuck. It's a lot on the line for Lamar Jackson right now, and Lamar Jackson can't lose to CJ Stroud. It just can't happen. For uh, the legacy of Lamar Jackson, it can't happen. So with that being said, I'm rolling with the Ravens. Period. I don't care about. Uh, you already know the Ravens got the top got the top defense. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> you feel? Like it's just it's just that. Like it's just that. Like that's just where I'm at. I don't really got no long soliloquy as to why and um this is they no better off this win and this da da da. I don't got all that. All I know is Lamar Jackson ain't about to lose. I know the division around right, right now, too much riding on that nigga to get to the Super Bowl. So I'm gonna roll with the Ravens. I'm rolling with the Ravens. I you know what I'm saying it ain't got nothing to do with Shit, I would have liked to have been there, but the, the, the Ravens have proved that we that team, even though everybody was looking at the Niners, Nick, we have been that team this whole year. Don't play us. Man, the Niners been there, too. We're going to talk about them in a second. Like you said, yeah. Jackson, it, it, it's time to – I got my contract. I've been showing the moment y'all pay. It ain't going to stop. Yeah. That nigga Lamar gonna go off, man. Lamar gonna have a good game. Lamar gonna have a good game. That Texas defense, even though like, like Joe Flacco threw two pick sixes against his defense, it's Joe Flacco, bro. Like Lamar Jackson ain't about to play. I just don't see. The the defense the defense is way better. The offense, he got way more pieces than he ever had. They winning. 
soundly. At least by two scores. And he can, and he can about two D2. Ravens with about two scores, at least. By 14? Two scores, at least, nigga. Uh, a touchdown field goal, 10 plus, nigga. Period. We'll go to this next game, nigga. Okay. The Packers and the Niners. Oof. Another game. Another game. Damn. Jordan Love they had a good year. Man. Oh, that's over. Yeah. It's over. The Niners it's over, though. They, the the, right, the 49ers, the 49ers defense, the, that, that front four, they get to Jordan Love. They go. Ta- they go get to that nigga. He ain't. It ain't gonna be like the Cowboys. You had open pockets, throw it off the back leg, all that shit. You ain't gonna do that on no 49ers, bro. I just don't see you doing that again. Yeah, Forty Niners with Sally two scores to the better on that one as well. There's only what game is gonna be tight this week, bro. There's only go. There's only what game. Actually, it's two. It's two games that's going to be tight this week. Yeah, I'm looking at the, the yeah, the, this, this Bucks and Lions going to be. I'm rolling with uh, the, the Lions, though. I'm rolling with the Lions. Going, but it is going to be good. I'm rolling with the Lions. I'm rolling with the Lions, man. Because this is what I will tell you that Lions defense ain't no hoe either. So, bake, shake and bake. It was cool. You had all Cleveland people in a in a in a riot. Talk about we never should have traded them. No, 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 no. But it's crazy. Oh, that just Baker Mayfield showing that he a good quarterback. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's fine. The, the Detroit Lions is on one. Is not the Eagles. No, they they're de- not. Defense ain't the Eagles, nigga. The Eagles' defense is booty meat. I wish the damn Browns played a, a, a played a team like that in the first in 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 a wild card. Maybe we'll be talking about the Browns this week. But you niggas is crazy, nigga. Shake and bake. I fuck with you. Hopefully, you get a deal, nigga. You deserve some bread because this was a good season for you, even though you was nine and eight. But this was a good season. You got to the playoffs. Got a playoff win against the against the team that went to the Super Bowl last year. Well, yeah. kudos to you, but the buck stops here for you. South to the Lions, the NFC the Championship game. Stops here, NFC Championship game for the Lions. Need to put that on the shirt. Need to put it on the shirt, nigga. Shit. Stop here. Put it on the shirt, nigga. All right, all right. Let's just. This is gonna be this is gonna be probably the longest. This is gonna probably be a, a, the more long-winded pause response I have about this game. Probably the most, most one. Okay. So, so let's just get into it. I know you going with the Chiefs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see, I got this red on. Yes, sir. <laughs> what? Listen, man. This is what I'm gonna say to you niggas. The only motherfucker that can fuck up this 49ers Ravens Super Bowl that everybody been clamoring about for the past month is only one nigga that could destroy all of that. He can destroy that. Patty Ice, nigga. Listen, man. They in Buffalo. First row playoff game Pat Mahomes has ever played in his career, right? Right. I'm going to say this to you niggas. The Chiefs ain't the Steelers, nigga. Pat Mahomes ain't Mason Rudolph, nigga. And Mason Rudolph threw for damn near 300 on the Bills. So, so what the fuck you think Pat Mahomes going to do? I'm predicting it right now. Travis Kelsey go hold down his brother on Sunday. He catching a TD or more, maybe two TDs 
Chiefs for Travis Kelsey on two Sunday. Two TDs for Travis Kelsey. Right. You said what? Two TDs for Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Taylor Swift going to come into Buffalo, nigga. What? The Swifties coming to Buffalo, nigga. But this is the thing, though. This is the real deal. This is the real deal. Josh Allen going to throw a pick or two. That's just his M.O. And if he throw a pick or two against the Chiefs, he getting his ass kicked. Yeah. That's... The only yeah, that's, that's the way for Josh Allen to win this game and for DJ to be blowing up my DMs and shit, he got to play a perfect game. Mm. I can't bet on Josh Allen throwing a perfect game, though. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I just can't because his games ain't perfect. I ain't seen him play a perfect game in his whole fucking career. So all of a sudden, he about to throw a perfect game. Now I'm like, make it make sense. So a lot of these games, that you done, you, we both going with the Chiefs. We both going with the Lions. And, of course, the front runners. But what do you think would be the biggest upset? If it don't work the out. Biggest upset, the biggest upset said to me would be if Green Bay beat the 49ers. That wouldn't be bigger than the Texans beating the Ravens? I mean, it would, but I, I'm just being realistic. You got two rookies. One of them playing a, 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 a game changer, and one of them is playing a game manager. But at the end of the day... They both playing game changers. They ain't, they, ain't, they ain't playing game managers, either one of them. But the thing is, you got a rookie coach and you got a coach that's been there for three, four years. Which one you going to put your money on? The coach that's a rookie or the coach that's been there for three, four years? Three, if you had to years. put your money on it. It's three, four, I, I, I really don't think – you say, what happened? Three, four years ain't been that good. Man, the Packers not too long ago lost to the 49ers in the NFC Championship game. Matt LaFleur was the coach. Aaron Rodgers was the quarterback, but Matt LaFleur was the coach. Though. And I think that was his rookie year. And they, 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 they both losing. I don't even know why we're doing all this hyperbole shit. They both losing. Yeah, they both losing. They, you know, they both lose. Look, you got to throw in that what if shit. We know we got to do because what ifs be happening around here. I mean, it do because last time I said niggas was losing and they both won. And that shit was ridiculous. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to be wrong two times in a row. Uh, but just, just to be honest with you, nigga, I'm going to stand on what I. I said like three, four years ago. I'm gonna stand on it. He ain't gonna lose. That's no Josh Allen in no playoffs. <laughs> I ain't never said he ain't gonna lose in the playoffs, but he ain't gonna lose no Josh Allen. I'll tell you that. If he lose to Josh Allen, I'll be the first to be like I was wrong. But come on now. I just don't see it. They too depleted on, on, on defense too. Like, Pat Mahomes gonna go crazy. Crazy in the code. He's gonna go crazy. He's gonna go crazy. But let me ask you this though, right? I remember I said something on the last in the post show. Okay. And we made a bet on I think it was the um the Eagles in Tampa Bay. Yep. And I said, if Tampa Bay wins, I'm going to give away five raffle tickets to random pre ball. May give five to one person, however it goes. That was the bet. So I'm going I'm to honor that. And this is what I'm going to do. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a vid. First person to like it is gonna be the first person. It's gonna get. It's gonna be the person that gets the five raffle tickets. Boom, straight to them. 
the first person ever psychic. I'm gonna do, okay. do that shit later on tomorrow. I'm gonna do that shit tomorrow. After I get off of work and kind of you feel me, I'm gonna do that shit tomorrow though. So just so you know, sure. my eyes of my shit. I'm gonna send the money to the end of the post, to the end of the post, cash app. You feel me? And for that fact, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till after you post yours. I'm gonna wait about a couple hours. I'm gonna make a video. Cause I don't, I want to get shit away too. <laughs> Nigga, you just want to get shit away. You win a bet, you still want to get shit away. That's what I'm saying. Niggas be crazy. I ain't gonna get shit away. You won the bet, nigga. You supposed to be cool. You ain't supposed to be giving away shit because you won the bet. Now nah, niggas wanna. I'm upstage, niggas. I'm trying to give shit away too. We upstage, nigga. <laughs> I ain't just stop a ticket. Yeah. We just try to give some niggas a chance to put that 55 inch stuff. You know what I mean? It's just Super Bowl vibes up. But that was really yeah. it for the, you know what I'm saying? It's only four games on the, on the, on the, um, on the, in, on the NFL side. Um, like I said before, shout out to Antonio Pierce. He got hired as a coach for the Raiders. Mike McCarthy keeps his job. Bill Bennett. A check for what I hear is on the way to Atlanta. Oh, how many more years? Hey, he, how many more years is he gonna need to get these fifteen games? That's what he playing for. Y'all heard trying to get fifteen wins in order to retire as the winner of his coach. I ain't gonna fake. His best bet is to go to Buffalo to Atlanta. He go to Atlanta with what they got right now. All they need is a really, a, a really a quarterback. That's really what they need. That is like Ritter ain't really it. They really need a quarterback. But we'll see how that shit go. Them niggas won too so many games to get a quarterback. Then they win like seven games. I don't know who they gonna get a quarterback, but Bill Belichick fuck around be the coach for them or the, them or the Eagles. I think it may make more sense for him to go to the Eagles, but that's really where it's at. It's either them or the Eagles. Yeah, he got a better chance of uh, having to play at least the least amount of years to get them 15 wins with the Eagles. He get them bitches in a year. In a year. He get them bitches in a year. I'm a nigga might retire after he get the 15 games. All right, y'all, call it quiz. We still in the season. Uh, okay, I'm still leaving. <laughs> Fuck. I wouldn't be mad at him. I mean, that nigga about 80. I ain't nobody going to be mad at his 80-year-old ass. Stay waiting for him to leave. Wouldn't you be waiting for that nigga to leave? I mean... Somewhat, but I mean, he's still a, it's still a historic coach. It's still Bill Belichick. I mean, he only got like two years left anyway. North, North Coast was good, nigga. But he only got like, you feel me? So, yeah. yeah, Bill, it's, it, that Washington, I, they they do need a culture. They need somebody who's going to bring some type of culture to, yeah. to their uh, franchise. Somebody who's going to Make them listen, buckle down, and follow the scheme. Facts. And Facts. That's a Bill, that's a Bill better check thing. You're gonna follow the scheme. You don't care what you think you can do. I didn't hire you for what you think you can do. You, you on this team for what I told you to do. <laughs> yeah, I already know how that nigga Billy goes. That nigga Billy ain't playing with you, nigga. Billy Goat. It's still a goat, though. Shout out to Bill Belichick, nigga. They but all right, to, man. You know, we... Or what you about to say? Need to bring more of that, that type of coach where he didn't let the fan, the uh, they stardom get to their head. Listen, you are not more important than this team. Just fall back and do what we tell you to and you'll be cool. Facts. Facts. Speaking of facts. Pip. Shout out to Bill Belichick. Hopefully, you go to the Eagles though, because they need help. Atlanta, 
that's like three years in the making, and you don't got that. You don't got that long. You, you you coach for two more years, you probably go get fifteen wins in two years. I ain't gonna. You try to get that shit in one year and bounce. You might as well go to the Eagles. Yeah, he, he I, yeah the Eagles. He could do it in one year and bounce. I think that's probably yeah, sure. that's the only option. I mean, because who who else who else is in the that type of position where he don't really have to do too much restructuring of the team? He just get in and take the take the wheel and take off. Yeah. And I bet you, I bet you. He, uh, your boy won't be sitting on the sideline looking like he want to commit suicide and shit. My fault, yeah. unalive and stuff and shit, like he was this suit that, that that last game. He was uh, looking like man, these niggas is trash, trash. Kelsey was over there crying. He was over there looking like like he was the end of the world. His whole who? And he wasn't even. He like he was suffering from depression. This whole team was sorry. Who are you talking about now? Um, Jalen Hurts. Or was Jason? He was so Kelsey. Oh no, Jalen Hurts didn't have. He just looked like man. He he looked like he gave up. It was over, over, and that was before it was over. He just looked like he didn't yeah. have nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Like he just. That's you know, he was over where they go the field. Get this over, so I'm that shit was home. over. Like a, yeah, that shit been over weeks ago. Eagles wasn't doing shit. Hey. Y'all better get Bill Belichick in there. Prior to that coach, get Bill Belichick in there, nigga. But shit, only. All right, all right, boom. Last thing I'm gonna ask you on this football tip before we, you know, what I'm saying move on to the NBA before we get the fuck out of here. We on, we on some quick shit on the 198, 198, nigga. We on some quick shit. We on some quick shit, but Pete. What you think the Browns need to do in the offseason to secure themselves a playoff spot and hopefully a playoff win next season? I, that's that's a get healthy. That's their best for right now. Get healthy. As okay. many people need to start that season healthy. Because the way that they played with all these injuries should inspire them. To like, they were healthy, uh, uh, and we we was doing okay as long as the pieces that we had stay healthy. But when stuff started falling apart, the next man stepped up. And they keep that mentality, but go in with a whole healthy squad. It's gonna be hard to stop them because it's gonna be the dudes who I, I, I helped us get to the playoffs last year. I want to start. As soon as they get the opportunity to get in, they gonna try to cook. That's so Kareem, all I can really say. Kareem be back. So Kareem Hunt gonna be back with the Browns next year. That I don't know. I, re- I mean, but they like way to abandon their whole run game early in the year. So I don't know what that. I mean, They abandoned that shit. We got Flacco, yeah. and it was like, fuck the run. No. Fuck we got here. All this shit was based on the run. And our our back, backs were so deep that it's next man up. Yeah. And they gave that up. I like when we wanted to say something. I like when it felt like that was, even though it was that Joe Flacco and they was talking this shit, I still felt like they should have never, it was a bad idea for them to abandon the run like that. I mean, they abandoned the run in that game, but they did that because they were trying to get back in the game. I can't really take too much from it. I ain't really about to go too much into that shit. You, you bringing back flags back, man. That was a bad week last week, nigga. I ain't trying to think about it. No disrespect to you. Respect to you, Pimp, but I hey. I was with you watching hey. that shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That shit was hard to watch. 
But think about it. We went from the last two years to having the best backs. The whole, as far as the core, we had the best core running backs in the NFL. The core. For the last two years, one dude went down. Why like, y'all just gave that all up? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, we we on the NBA panel. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Cause I'm just gonna sit here. This is like, bro. I ain't about to keep up. It. All right, man. Cavs smacked the Bucks by forty a couple of days ago. By hey, man. By school forty. Let me, let me, let me. The school closing. Uh, the day of the Cavs game. That game. Your boy won some tickets to go to that game. But what game we talk about? Uh, the Bucks and the Cavs. Yeah, nigga, I was like, man, be honest, being honest. I hope they don't send these tickets. It's cold to the motherfucker outside, and we up here. I'm up here, up, up, up St. Clair. I don't want to be downtown. It. Nigga, so y'all didn't get the tickets, or y'all did? Y'all didn't go. They didn't send the tickets. They didn't. Like, you know how they get the kids. They had probably half his class was supposed to go. Ain't, yeah. they ain't, even, they ain't even send them tickets out. <laughs> that shit was, they was sold out. No, they, they, uh, the school get them a package. Yeah. It was, they, they had a, a contest. It was, uh, he won, he draw, draw a current Cavs player, a picture of a Cavs player. You know, Deacon was like, oh, all I got to do is draw a picture to get some tickets. He had told me in advance, hey, you want to go to the uh, game? What game? The Bucks and the, how you going to get, I'm, I'm going to get some tickets. How you going to get some tickets? I'm going to win the tickets. How, how you know I'm going to, he's like, listen, you seen my artwork. <laughs> bro, your, your ego is real big, bro. You just know you're going to win. He was like, look, we going. <laughs> if you say so. I mean, he was right. He did win, but he did win. But it, you went at the wrong time. <laughs> but still, still though. So, cash back the bucks by forty that night. Um, and beat beat the Nuggets. All Star Weekend is a month away. Off the top of the head, Pimp. Off the top of the head, Pimp, I need for you to give me your top five East teams and your top five West teams right now. Celtics Personally Bucks. constructed. You said yes. Celtics Bucks. Okay. Currently constructed. Uh huh. Celtics Bucks, Cavs, Pacers, Sixers in the East. So 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 you telling me that Pascal Siakam put the Pacers in front of the Sixers, nigga? Not one, two, three, four. That, that's, that's just five. I ain't gonna fake to you. Miami should be in there. I wanted to, but uh, that literally go. That just, Miami should be in there. The Knicks can fuck around, beat the Pacers if they play them in the first round. Pacers should not be in no top five or nothing. They probably six or seven. They not in no the top five. But I'll give you that. So you say Celtics, Bucks, Cavs, Pacers. And what was the last team? The Sixers. Sixers. Okay, that's your five in the East. What's the five in the West? Nuggets, Clippers. I, I, I don't, it's gonna be one of the two. Both of them is not gonna be. It, it got to be either, either one of these niggas got to get bumped. The Thunder or the Timberwolves. I, and I'm leaning toward the th Thunder because I really don't care. I mean, your boy, he he is. A uh, 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 a dog, but the rest of their team suspect. I don't care how good they looking.
the rest of the team is suspect as fuck. So you say Nuggets, Clippers, one of them got to get docked. Just because of what you said, I'm going to take the Timberwolves as three. Who four and five then? Nigga? Nuggets, Clippers, 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 Nigga, it ain't rocket science, nigga. If you got the Nuggets, the Clippers, and let's say for the sake of the argument, the Timberwolves, who are four and five right now in your eyes in the West? It ain't that hard. It's only a handful of teams you got to pick from anyway. Ain't like you got to pick through the whole conference. The, the Mavericks. <laughs> okay. And? I ain't got no faith in the Pelicans. So that's your fifth? The Pelicans? I'm, what? They five. What? I don't give a fuck if they first. The Pelicans, nigga? All right, man. Let me hit you with my top five. Let's see if we can kind of try to combat this shit. Top five in the West, in the East. No, top five in the West, in the East. Top five in the West, right? Boom. Thunder, no particular order. Thunder, Nuggets, Clippers, Timberwolves. I still got my favorite LBJ. Like, nigga. That's my top five right now in the West. Now in the East, Celtics, Bucks, Sixers, Cavs. And probably, hmm, hmm. I will go with the Pacers, but I, I, I could, I should just go with the Pacers just because the Siakam trade. But that Siakam trade got fish all over it. I, I don't trust that shit. So uh, my fifth East team, I'm gonna fuck your head up with this one. I might have to go with the Heat. I'm going with Bucks, Celtics, Sixers, Cavs, Heat on the East, Thunder, Nuggets, Minnesota. What was that 14? Clippers. Clippers and Lakers in the West. I couldn't agree with the West, but do you, the Heat, the Jimmy. Uh, that that is that all they they put up a good fight. That's all they ever been doing is putting up a good fucking fight. That's it. Don't let them niggas get me in playoff contention, and I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah. They, they, Pacers made my list. They paid my. They made my list on the strip that. They ain't been they ain't been worthy to pay attention to since that whole Paul George and uh what was his name? Where he at now? Roy Hibbert meltdown. But at the end of the day, nigga, the Pacers is popping with that nigga Steven Jackson stole all the motherfucking fan after the nigga <laughs> threw shit on Ron Artest. <laughs> nigga, don't play Indiana like, like that, man. Don't do that. That's disrespectful. But um as far as the NBA is concerned right now, it's still early. We still gonna talk about it because it is. We just like wait, sprinkle this shit in. You feel me? Um, yeah. I know I said that shit to you about that mellow shit, but I ain't gonna hold you. That shit don't really. I don't really care about that shit. No disrespect to Cayenne, but I don't care about that shit. No. Cayenne, shut the fuck up and ball. You talk about you gonna cook your dad? You saying that for clicks of you? Niggas know what's up. That's just like. But for the Bronny James talk about you're yeah, at fifteen. Oh, I cook LeBron. Oh, I cook my dad. What, what Shaq said about Mike cook him? Huh? huh? Shaq said might get him. Shaq said might get who? At Shaq at seventeen. But Shaq said gonna get at who though? His daddy. He might be able to get him. Man, Sharif? 
He like way the dog. Well, he got moves. He got moves his father didn't have at this point because his father teaches him shit that he he learned after he got on. All right, man. I ain't about. I, I I mean, at this point, I ain't about to talk about no basketball no more. I mean, it is what it is. It's a story outside, so you know what it is. If it's hot or if it's cold, niggas be wilding. Hey, it, it, niggas get the wilding when it's hot or it's cold. Why your boy ain't show up? Cause he got a. Your boy Aiden had a snow deck. Man, they said he can't get out that bitch because the lights are on the rock. I mean, shit. What that nigga drive? For the awesome? <laughs> he too big to be in the awesome. <laughs> man, that nigga DeAndre ain't goofy ass in the awesome, nigga. I ain't, man, fuck that nigga. He's awesome. That nigga got a phone out that bitch. <laughs> that nigga in the Motherfucking 2024 Ford Escape, nigga. And oh, that, that bitch tighter than motherfucking Cool Runners team, nigga. You and that bitch like Cool Runners, nigga. Yo, Cool Running looking ass, nigga. I already okay. hope that nigga pay the because he ain't gonna be there. He, he garbage. He is trash. He, he trash compared to his contemporary. We all go. He trash, trash as a basketball player, but to his contemporaries, yeah, he trash. Yeah. God damn, I'm over here tired. Yeah. We don't really be on that, like, but I, I once I saw he, I because he just give me Brad Doherty flashbacks. You talking about Roy Hill? No, I'm talking about. Uh, Aiden. Man, hey man, listen, bro. I thought that was just a little common belief. You really get, you really get in depth about DeAndre Aiden. No, I'm just saying, man. You high, you high. Y'all talk about y'all about to go to Detroit. You definitely high. Y'all must got some weed right there. You high, bro. Like DeAndre Aiden, bro. You got to be high talking about this nigga. This nigga garbage. You said you ain't want to talk about no garbage niggas on the show, but here you go. Because I'm just confused. I'm just like, what? Hold on, what? I thought he did some new shit. You, you, you talk about this nigga like, girl, I don't know why they did that. So this trash ass nigga, but he a trash can though, but shit. I mean, how do you get? Like, what? <laughs> like, is he a trash can or no? Like, what? Oh, he's certified. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, don't be over here giving a bill to those certified trash cans. To, like, you going against the interposed bylaws and shit, the rules and regulations. I should give your ass the handbook, nigga. Next time I see you, nigga, because it is a handbook. It is an interposed handbook that that's been that's been that's been created on a low ski. I ain't really put it out there yet because I just feel like. You embody what's in this in this handbook anyway, so there's no need to share this shit with you. But the way you talking today, I may have to send you a, a copy via email, nigga. Because <laughs> <laughs> you out of pocket talking about these trash ass niggas. You out of pocket, Chris. I ain't gonna hold you. You out of pocket. You over here first off, you talking about our CJ Strong ain't trash and shit. But you talking all this upset show with the NFL shit. Then you hold on to this shit. What we was just talking about, we wasn't just talking about Melo and his son. We were just talking about the top five teams in each conference right now. And you start going on, on some shit, saving it. <laughs> Soliloquy, saving these niggas, man. You got to stop. Pimp. You got to stop, stop saving these niggas, pimp. For sure. Oh, Because, you, you. you know... So when we gonna start uh tapping into this to this to this local entertainment scene some more? Cause I seen your vid, bro. And I'm oh shit. shit, I mean it, nigga. But I mean oh, it though. It is what it is. Cause, Cause I just know? see shit. I just see shit, bro. And I just like, bro, like, like I'm really him. Pause. Like you feel me? Like we could really get to the bottom of shit. Hopefully, change some shit. Like that's what we gonna do. I mean, at the end of that, after we give away this TV, it's up. You feel me? So if you, if you ain't get your raffle tickets already, get the raffle tickets sent us up in the DM. We raffling off a 55 inch TV Roku joint right before the Super Bowl. Get your right. Get you an extra, get your auto extra TV in the crib. We already got one. 
We show what love, nigga. You you pay ten dollars for three tickets. You fuck around and get a TV worth three hundred. You only paid ten for that. Yeah. Fuck with us. Just fuck with us, bro. Put people on. Fuck with us. Fuck Watch with us, bro. Ow. Back you out. So, uh, what's, the, what's the next in the building move? See, real rap, rap. We try to get. It. I'm just trying to figure out what's gonna be these. Uh, what's gonna be these guests? Because after our 200 episodes, we need to figure out. That's the thing. Because it's two. We got two weeks before our 200th episode. We got to figure out who we gonna have on our 200th episode. We gotta have some guests. That's 200. That's gonna, that's gonna, we're gonna have to turn up, turn up. That's what I'm saying. We got some guests. Real talk, I'm already thinking about um, hitting them later to see the dime, but we need some other guests. We need some guests. We, we, we got a number of people who, who say they want to be down. Quite Man, at the end of the day, when it comes to 200, we only got to fuck with it. Niggas who is down. We can't fuck with nobody who's gonna say they is. This two hundred. This two hundred, pimp. This two hundred. We can't play around with two hundred. This two hundred. Like, like nigga. This two hundred. You hear me? We gotta do some shit crazy. This two hundred. We been doing this shit for two hundred episodes, bro. Two hundred. We gotta do some fly. I shit for 200. We can't just be doing no, no goofy shit for no 200. We got to turn up for 200. You feel me? For sure. We're going to make, we make some shape. That's a guarantee. Yeah, that's for sure. For sure. That's for sure. For sure. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's a an hour and went by for real? Yeah. We went through, nigga. We went through and made through. On that note. That's what I'm saying, bro. This should be crazy, nigga. We gonna have to make this short, though. Like, this should be crazy. Like, hey, listen. Hey, listen. This is what I'm gonna say to you niggas. Hey, listen, bro. Me and Pimp gonna be together 199. We gonna be together. That's next week. We definitely gonna be together. You feel me? So don't fret. You feel me? In the meantime, in between time, if y'all watching this vid, you feel me? Y'all let somebody know that we raffling off a 55 inch TV. If you want to win it, send that bread through. Get your raffle ticket. If you know somebody who want to get, if you know somebody who need that bitch, bro. Put them on. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. Hit niggas up. Instead of motherfucking ear hustling on the bids, nigga, hit niggas up and see what's good with them raffle tickets. Get you the 55 inch TV. You feel me? You get the 55 inch, like my nigga say. My nigga say he want to win the bitch so he can give it off as a motherfucker, as a motherfucking gift. You heard what DJ said a couple weeks ago. Right. Like, see, you, you, get the, you do the same thing for your people. Put somebody else on. That's all we try yeah, to do. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Some people got the, their birthdays coming up and all that shit. Get you a fifty-five inch TV for your birthday. What you want for your birthday? Dude? You feel me? Yeah. Shout out to my nigga Mike. My nigga Mike be there on, on motherfucking Tuesday. Shout out to my nigga Mike Clark. Feel me? Shout out to uh, Michelle, his sister. She twin. She shout out to Michelle. His birthday, her, her birthday, same day. Shout out to Shark, you already know. This family business. But as yeah. far as y'all yeah. niggas who may not be family, shit, nigga. How loud is get you to a TV, nigga? Fuck you, don't. This is a Cause, uh, Get you a TV. Your boy gonna be 13. He can. He, 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 he. Say he wanna buy him a ticket. I told him he can't buy you a ticket. <laughs> no. And the family members can't buy no ticket. You talking about digging? No, nah, yeah. man. <laughs> digging can't buy no raffle ticket. But at the end of the day, you know, out of your family, you know who can? Who? 
The only nigga who can buy raffle tickets is probably motherfucking um motherfucking Devin. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga need to buy all these bitches. You owe, nigga. Buy them all, nigga. Let's talk about. <laughs> hey, that nigga been owing since twenty twenty three. You about to pay up, man? Twenty twenty four. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna roughly kid it up though. But he gonna have to pay on the game. You you preach to the choir. I already know, bro. You, you know I know. Oh, uh, yeah, you already know what it is. But at the end of the day, y'all, I'm going to just tell y'all this, though. You know, we in and out, nigga, robbery shit. Y'all be safe on this bitch. Niggas can't drive. Tomorrow, all that snow that fell is going to be ice cold. So stay. y'all be safe out here. Stay y'all try to get the motherfucking snow. Y'all be so stay warm. Y'all get the snow away from in front of your car so you can drive out that bitch. As long as the snow... Ain't in front of your car, you clogging up your front wheels, you can get out of anywhere. And uh it's cuddle season, nigga. Find something nice to be up on. It's too it's too it's too cold outside to be by yourself. It is. Yeah, I got something. I got something. You got something. Y'all need to get something. It's like a parade. You feel me? <laughs> Hey, man, I ain't gonna fake. I kind of like that song from Shorty, though. That song kind of hard. You got to tag Shorty in this video, though. That, that song kind of hard. I wouldn't buy an interview with Shorty either. Hey, just as long as it ain't the uh, 16 and 0 parade, nigga. As long as it ain't the what? A 16 and 0 parade. What you mean, 16? What you mean? That brown shit. Brown? What, what, what are you talking about? When the Browns went 16, they went 0 16, nigga. 0 16 parade. As long as they ain't that. Man, it it ain't never that, nigga. Man, you talking about some old shit. Hey, peep. Hey, you talking about some old shit. Hey, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. right. Y'all know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Hold up. I gotta gotta get right before we get about this, bitch. Hold on. Gotta get right when we get about this house. Shador. <laughs> hey, man. The nigga's crazy. Hey, but for real, though, y'all already know what it is. Y'all stay safe out here. Episode 198 in the post podcast. Low key and OG. Your boy Gam, BKA Chase Betis, Holly Hood Sharp, BKA. I have returned 2024. Nigga. What you talking about? I have returned, nigga. We have returned, nigga. We'll be back. We here, nigga. Where we went? Where we go, nigga? Just up. up. Ain't nowhere to go but up. Nigga, we on 10, nigga. There ain't no ups no more. We on 10 now, nigga. Ain't no up nothing. We on 10. Shout out to my nigga DJ for saying this is Stanley Cup, but it ain't. That nigga show love talking about this is a Stanley Cup, but it definitely ain't. This shit was this shit definitely ain't cost like a Stanley Cup cause this shit was definitely cheap as hell. By the way, he talking about this is Stanley Cup. And this is under the cheapest cup I ever bought in my life. Shout out to the Browns. I mean, look, because you keep your your Kardashian uh paraphernalia with you. You know how he gonna do. Hey listen, man. Uh, all I know is this this nigga talking about he want us on the show tomorrow. Hey man, y'all, 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 y'all better shovel some snow or something. You said the twentieth, didn't you? Yeah, I, I just realized it was the twentieth tomorrow. It's that nigga better shovel some snow, nigga. You better, you better, you better come through with the um, with the with the with the crocs with the motherfucking shovels on them for niggas or something. You over here on that car, that shit come through. That nigga gonna, you know, he gonna get out there and snow blow. You know what I'm saying? He gonna, he gonna take care of his property. Well, ain't nothing open, boo. All right, well, shit. You know what I'm saying? Her ass on the phone and shit. So this is what we doing, though. We already know what the fuck it is. Next week, we'll get with y'all niggas. Pimp, tag shorty in his beard. What's the shit over with? Thunder G720. Tag her in this shit.
I'm here. And as far as everybody else is concerned, y'all know what it is. DJ, as soon as the Chiefs beat the Bills, I'm on your head. Top, nigga. Let's go. Let's motherfucking go. Shout out to Donovan Mitchell. He ain't going nowhere either, nigga. You think he gonna, he gonna stay? Yeah, he's staying, bro. I ain't about to get to a depth this shit because we at the end of though. I ain't about to get to a depth, nigga. But I, I that's, I'm just telling you what I know. I know what I know. All right. On that note, we ain't got no outro. We just cut this shit off. I get with you. I get with you. No, what the fuck going on, bro? Next week, I holler at you, pimp. All right, pimp. All right, for sure. For sure.